So I'm gonna just take you through one more time those movements that we did, some of the core ones, just so that you can kind of have a memory of them and so on and, um, and go from there. So uh, we started with our warm up today with this gentle drum, okay? So this is our little set of gentle drum. And then come back and stabilize. Once you feel stabilized, which is essentially standing tree meditation right here, then you can go into your waterfall. I recommend before you go up, you actually exhale, go down. Inhale, coming up. And if and when the breath ever becomes like too much, literally just go slow motion don't emphasize the breath at all. This is a very nice yin version of this exercise. From here, if we turn our hands over, pull from the ground, inhale, bringing the energy up. Stretch, exhale your breath, one version anyway, exhale, and then release. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, coming up. Press, exhale. <sighs> From this position here, the hands go back out. This is like our um, bird's wings I said earlier. So you can actually just, if you do this with me a couple of times, just to emphasize the bird wings. As this comes up, you can inhale right here, inhale. Exhale as they come down, like you're flapping your wings. Inhale. Exhale. Now bring it all the way around waterfall. Inhale. Exhale. My right hand travels and I pull with the right hand as I push away with the left hand. I look at my left hand, focus on it for a minute, focus on the index finger. Now bring the left hand across my body. Pull with the left hand, push away with the right hand. Yes, and keep looking, look at your index finger. Focus on it, good for the eyes, good for the liver amongst other things. Come across, one more pull, push. This is our drawing of the bow. Come across again this side. Pull and push. One more to our left. From here, we put in a filler mini waterfall where we just come up to the shoulders. Exhale, inhale, just to the shoulders. Exhale, so I'm just here. Oh. Oh. Qigong exercise in and of itself right here. Oh. Inhale. Oh. Then, 
One up, one down. Pushing up the stick, holding it up. Down the earth, pushing it down. Switch, press. Switch, press. Switch, press. Bring this hand that's high, bring it to the middle. Bring the other one up to the middle. Walk your hands inside. Turn your palms down. Exhale your breath and we're back into a waterfall. Inhale, exhale. Let your hands come to your side. Take your hands, slightly different variation of standing tree meditation, touch your middle fingers together, lower rim of the belly button. Eyes open if you're concerned about your balance in any way. This is a very potent form of standing tree meditation. It's designed to set the lower belly, the lower dantian on fire, which you can think of as a spiritual fire, so to speak. Inhale. Exhale. And then take three deep breaths. Breathe it in deep. Remember your bubble, reach up high in the sky, that's your bubble. If you wanna know how to be bigger than your problems, make your auric field big. If you want to be, uh, you know, ward off negativity, hands to the side, make your energy field big. As I like to say over the years, be the bigger wave. This becomes your wave. And then you turn a direction and you make the wave bigger. The bubble bigger. And you turn the other direction and you make it bigger. You go to like going out of order than what we did earlier, but just to give you an idea, make it bigger. Make it bigger. Whatever your exercise, look what you're doing to that auric bubble. Bigger. Bigger. Go to a waterfall. Inhale, exhale. Bring your hands here. This is, uh, sometimes we call this like prayer mudra or heart mudra. I often use this, I use it for different reasons, but one of, the, one of the ways that I often bring this in is at the end of a training where we've done a whole bunch of stuff. This becomes the cherry on your cake. You're doing all this work to bring energy up the chakra ladder today, up through the dantians, whether you realize that or not. We were working. Everybody with me? Hands here, do you remember? We were here. Then in moments we were here. In moments we were here. We're working to take it up the chakra ladder, then wash it away, right? We were focused in lower Dantian in moments with our practice. This becomes an extension of lower Dantian, but also opens up middle Dantian, see it? And then you come toward the end and you put your hands here, and that cherry sits where? Heart chakra. Most people's heart chakras are closed. Just like a, if you were to close your fist, that's most people's heart chakra walking around on the planet. It's closed. You can tap on your chest and realize I have skin there, bone there, but to create space there, happens through meditation practice, Qigong practice, 
It doesn't typically happen through just everyday life unless you're a very sensitive, caring, loving person. And there are some of those people. But for people who have their heart closed, where you put your hands, where you put your attention, the energy begins to flow. So, if you'd like the energy to go to your heart space before you leave today, bring your hands right here. And let's take 60 seconds or so to give a nonverbal thank you to each other, I'll thank you out loud, for being here, for being part of the practice, because if you weren't here, it wouldn't be happening. And as I always like to say, I'd like to be a fly on the wall in here for the next group that comes here because we bless their space both inside and outside. Hold that intention and hold that thought for yourself and your neighbor because we all helped each other bring the energy up here today. And I have no doubt that on some level it's felt around the city. Let's just sit with that for a minute. Breathe it in as best you can. This is a different kind of workout. You all did great. Inhale, exhale. And let it go. 